share with you a simple and quick way to add some polish and pizzazz to your FileMaker based app. If you uh, uh, use most applications, uh, you'll notice that when they're working away or, or uh, going through their business, you'll see a progress bar. So if you're using your web browser and you download a file, you'll see a little progress bar. Uh, if you're booting up your uh, iPhone or Android device uh, or even your computer, you'll see a little uh, uh, spinning wheel or bouncing ball or something to tell you that the uh, uh, process is uh, moving along. So I'd like to uh, show you how you can create that same sort of thing for your FileMaker based app. Now, over the years, there's been a lot of ways to do this. Some of them uh, uh, great, some of them not so great. This is a uh, sort of a spin on that, adding uh, one of the new features in FileMaker 16, which is the card style new window. So what I have in front of me uh, is a simple uh, app with uh, two buttons. One is uh, called uh, uh, indeterminate, and the other one is called incremental. If I click on this button, I see a little uh, uh, dialog box pop up uh, that shows a little uh, line here uh, that, as you can see, sort of it fogs, goes across the, the line, kind of showing you that it's something's working, something's happening in the background. Uh, it doesn't know, it doesn't tell you exactly when that thing's going to be done, but it does say it's working away. The other button I have here is incremental. So if I click on this fella, I get a line that's blank at the moment, but if I hit this little add button, you can see that it progresses until it's complete, and then it go, and then if I hit it again, it's it's cleared again. So let me show you how I did those. So first, let's take a look at the buttons on this parent layout. I'll go into layout mode here. And uh, I'll double click on this fella and bring up the uh, button setup. You can see it's called in, indeterminate here. Uh, it's a single script step. Let's take a look at that script step. So that script step is simply the new window script step, but with a 16 spin on it. You'll see that I've uh, told it what layout to go to by default. I've chosen the card style for the, from the window style. I've, uh, uh, if you notice that these fellows down here are blank, but uh, FileMaker, when you select a card style, fills in these fellows. You can see them sort of in light gray here. Based, uh, and they're based on the size of the layout I chose. Now, if I go down here to the Windows options, the card window has a few options here. One of them is closed, but since closed uh, doesn't really work uh, for a progress bar, uh, you might want to put a cancel to cancel the workflow you're, you're running, but probably not just a generic close button. So I've, I've removed that. However, I do want to dim the background uh, because I want to you know, make this uh, uh, dialog box pop. So... Go ahead and if it's over, I can take a look at the other uh, button and that's incremental. And in fact, it does nearly the same thing. The only difference uh, in this, this fella is that I've picked a different layout to go to. Again, you can see that upon picking the layout, it's adjusted the size here and I you know, it didn't include a uh, close. Now, uh, that's all fine for this layout, but as we saw in these uh, uh, two little script steps here, we have two more layouts that I have to show you. So um, I'll go to view here. I'll say go to layout, and the first one will be indeterminate. And that's the simplest, simpler of the two layouts. It simply uh, is, a, is a small little layout here uh, with two elements, the text and a web viewer. So you can see the web viewer is not real that, really that big. So I'll double click on that fella, bring it into to view here. And 
you see that it, it has the, the data element and then some HTML included. So let's take a look at that. So let's specify here, bring the calculation window up here, and you can notice that it's pretty simple. Uh, it, it, as I say, it has some simple HTML uh, on both, both uh, ends here, the top and the bottom. But the thing that really makes it sizzle is this little progress tag here. Okay, and that, that really defines uh, 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 the element that, uh, that brings up the progress. Now, this will be different depending on what operating system you're using. In Windows, it's sort of a stretchy, elastic string of balls. Uh, in the uh, uh, Mac OS, it's that it's sort of a uh, uh, a small little bar. Okay, uh, you can you can do all sorts of stuff with this, but we'll kind of explain that later. Right here, I've just put a open tag, close tag, so we just get the generic effect we're looking for. All right, the next layout that I want to show you is the incremental, which involves a little more, uh, a few more things. So again, we have the two elements here, uh, uh, the text and the uh, web viewer. We also have a button down here, and I'll kind of show you that after we take a look at what's in the web viewer. So I'll click that. And you see that this, this has a few more things, all right? So it has the open tag for progress, right? And it has the close tag for progress, but it has some more stuff in here, right? It has this stuff right here. So there's a few options that you can use for the progress bar. You can format it and color it and, and give it different borders and what have you. But what I'm gonna focus on here is the two things which uh, uh, that make it a incremental, which is the value and the max. Okay, so I'm going to do a percentage here. So I'm going to set the max at 100. Okay, now uh, the value I'm going to I'm going to make it a variable. All right, now I could have made this a global field that you type in. Um, right now it's a global variable. You could set this via a script. If you got to certain parts of your workflow, you could uh, increment it. Uh, here I'm just going to increment it manually. Uh, lots of different ways you could you could have this uh, um, update. So after we take a look at this, now, now we'll take a look at the other element that makes this layout different, and that's this Add button here. So double click on the Add button. We'll take a look at the script uh, that runs this. Uh, so what we're doing is we're set, setting the variable. Take a look at it here. It's just a simple case statement. All right. Uh, if it equals 100, just clear it out. And we saw that when I was doing my demo. Uh, or just add 25 to it. And you can see, you can see that right here. So uh, that's that's a pretty simple simple part of this setup. Now the one other thing we have to do is we have to refresh window in order to uh, update the uh, progress bar so we can see the actual change we've made. All right. uh, another thing I've added to this layout is although this is simple, this is simple text I've placed on. I've made it a button so that I can close it by clicking on it just for demonstration purposes. So now let's go back to that parent layout again. I'll go into browse mode. And again, when I hit, 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 hit the indeterminate, you can see the sort of fuzzy line that goes across, uh, fuzzy area there, goes across the line, just telling you that, you know, it's working. And the incremental, I just hit this button and it's changed the uh, global variable. And uh, I can go ahead and uh, show you that indeed that is changing. Bring over my data viewer here. And you can see that's 25. If I hit it again, it goes to 50, it goes to 75, and then goes to 100. So I just want to show you there's a uh, uh, a new way, if you utilize uh, FileMaker's new card window, to uh, again add a little pizzazz and polish to your FileMaker-based app. Thanks a lot for spending time with us.